This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, very interesting personalities in the world of entertainment. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I have Nemi Dekombi and Ife Olua Oshoke. Yes, Did that's me, guy. Hey <laughs> you need to change your. He said like, he wants to be that's me, so let's let's just I let that. Be versatile, like. No, don't worry. I like that me. You like that me. Yeah. All right. DM. It doesn't that, that work me. well with your personality, but it's okay. It doesn't work well with my personality. Yeah, your personality is always bubbly and versatile, like she yeah, said. But this like is like something creative. dragging and dumb. This is just... <laughs> I like to Are you having that. creative I'll, block? I'll, I'll, I'll like to be that DM guy. Okay. DM guy, all cool. right. All right. That's me. Um, actor John Dumelo kicks off work to end flooding in West... Is it Legion or Legon? If you are the Ghana guy. Legon. Legon. Mm -hmm. Ghana. He made this known via his official Twitter page. He said that, I quote, a few weeks ago, I visited the community in West Legon and promised I will come and start work on dredging the big gutter that causes flooding um, whenever it rains. I'm happy to announce that we started work today. End of quote. Mm. Yeah. I think he's, Way to go. he's making a lot of effort. I think for me it's interesting and I would not be surprised. Like when I said that hashtag I did for you, it just gave me a vibe of maybe going into politics. No, no, he is. He, he, is, he, in he, he oh, is in oh, politics. Really? Yeah. yeah. Then it makes a lot of sense then. What else thought <laughs> you were going to say that he might be running for president? President. President. I don't think that would be so. a stretch. Maybe, um, <laughs> I, we never know. Something. You know, sometimes you just try, even though you know I'm not going to win, mm. but just to have that record. So by the time you come second, third time, you know. But he could win, no? It's John yeah, Dumelo and it's Ghana, so it's not it's like possible. Nigeria with so and many. And he's doing the, he's well. doing a lot of it. Yeah, yeah. He's doing he's doing really well as well. I, I can't really say the same for our celebrity turned politician in this in our own country. Mm. I can't really like say that oh, they're name actually names. doing. Name names. Maybe, I don't want maybe to I drop can't defend names. them because I think the person you would name is defend. We can defend that person because he's doing something. Oh, for me, maybe I don't think, think I don't think it's the like, person. Let's name. Name. You have to mention this name. Or. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, Desmond Elliott. Ah, he's already dead now. He's not trying to. Oh enter. no, I'm talking about like you know, a celebrity turned politician, not celebrity trying so to be a politician. You, you I don't feel like he's doing. You can't say much about Desmond. I, I don't feel like he's doing anything significant, even in his constituency. <laughs> hmm. That's Nobody how I feel. Can you defend it? Because I've seen, do you understand? Was, like, that's something. Oh, yeah, he wow. built public toilets. Like, if you compare it to what John Dumelo is doing, I mean, he's actually solving a problem. Mm -hmm. I can't say what... Man, this is a problem. But this in a country where we don't have business is serious public, business. public <laughs> toilets. <laughs> okay. So let's not take that for granted. But, but, All right. But, 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 but really, really, to be... To be Bank right now, it's really so sad that we said we we're going to defend the politician, and she yeah. actually named the name, and we don't even have a concrete. I just did. We don't have a concrete defense. <laughs> it doesn't have to be concrete. It's excretion. <laughs> okay, okay, we need to move on. Actually, so that it's sad though. Mm. Let's mm. think about it. It's sad. Like mm. if you are in power, we should be able to say that we watched you growing up, and this is what and this what you have change. done. We are we, 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 we don't see you nothing. I think it's, it's, it's not a this because I never thought about this yesterday or <laughs> even two days ago. But now that it's up and I'm like, okay, what can I defend this yeah, one with? And can you say maybe nothing. Maybe you've not been following news really maybe, just maybe, just maybe. But after this show see. right now, I okay. promise you that I'm going it's to go and crazy. read on Desmond Daily. And if I'm not and able to defend it. At the next episode, him, you're coming to tell yeah. us what you saw, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> Um, Don Jazzy has reacted to a comment by Nigerian politician Ali Indume. In an interview, the lawmaker had stated um, that the federal government needs to slash worker salaries in order to effectively fight COVID-19. Sharing his thoughts on Twitter, the music executive um, Don Jazzy said, and I quote, In Sena climbs, elected officials always put the interests of electorates ahead of theirs. The income gap between Nigerian politicians and the masses is already large. Reason why these officials should be the ones taking more responsibility amid this economic crisis, end of quote. Hmm. <sighs> this is very disturbing. And... Um, we know the slash is actually happening across all sectors right now, like the slashing salaries, especially people that are working from home. Companies that are not making so much revenue, they are also slashing salaries. So it has become like a norm, especially in this COVID-19 period. But um, for government workers that they don't even earn enough, what are you slashing? And then you guys are asking for 27 billion for renovation. 
and you approve that and you want to slash salaries, why don't we leave that renovation till another time? Nobody's visiting your place anyways. Do you understand? So why don't we leave it till another time? And let's use that 27 billion um, naira to fight COVID-19. What are Then you guys now to? reduce the 27 to 9.5 billion and they thought that was reasonable. You know, this whole conversation just reminds me again of what I was saying about accountability. The emergency COVID, because the reason why I'm saying that they should slash their salaries is because of the emergency COVID-19 fund. All of the money that has been donated to the country, every single, mo every single dime that people have donated, whether it is an NGO, whether it is a foreign body, where is it? there is no accountability. Account so if you are going to even slash people's people's salary, there is still going to be no accountability. They should slash there is all nothing. those their um, something allowance, hardship allowance. They should slash they their should own slash salary it. because mm. that is when you know that you have an active you, leadership. Like, the leader like, should like be the one to take the brunt. I like the idea what, he's coming yeah. from because the gap, the actual gap between the, the, the minimum wage and what are the people we supposedly elected into office, I use that word supposedly <laughs> for a reason, right? It's just too much. Because some much. of them are it's just doing recycles. Right. We, we don't it's have to elect it's so um, I, I don't know. I, I understand where he's coming from with his advice, uh, um, but that would work better if he was talking about his personal company or something. He he's 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 working for himself. But this is the government. We know that even the thirty thousand naira was supposed to be implemented before COVID nineteen came. So mm -hmm. I, so we are basically talking about eighteen thousand naira minimum wage right mm -hmm. now, yeah. and that is from where you want to start slashing. That's for the it's very wickedness, minimal people. I don't know how and that is just you, absolutely If you, if you look at these people, monthly, they have their hardship allowance, wardrobe allowance, for no, You don't allowance, understand. Their salaries are not being allowance. touched. No, not no, if like, they're going to slash, they will probably start from their table. I'll, hopefully. Oh, yeah. Mm. Let's, let's well, I'm so. not in support of this salary slash. I think we've gotten enough relief fund for us to demand accountability to exactly. understand how it the was. Money that I don't know. Before. Let's know how they how they But guess spent what? No what one is asking this on. question. Accountability, accountability. Who's asking the question? People are actually are asking questions, people? but no, nothing people are is asking happening. The, I'm talking about the people in power. Where the young people okay. that we elected, the ones that did the not too young to run, and the oh. few of them that got in, are they not supposed to be our mouthpiece now? You and show us accountability. <laughs> you will win. <laughs> Mouthpiece of the people. Okay, moving on to the next story before we bring in our guest. Run, you um, ready to run to where? Come on social media. <laughs> come in on social media to post a picture of your partner so strangers can validate faithfulness. Weeks of insecurity and childishness, to be honest, end of quotes. And that's coming from media personality OC Swave. Um... Mm. I don't see it as insecurity. Sometimes love is, they say, is stupid. They say love. So you see that's stupid? No, 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 no. That's not what I say. They say love sometimes, they say, makes you do the craziest things. Love sometimes, they say, is blind. Love sometimes, they say, I could go on and on and tell you about love. So all I'm trying to say is that love makes you do a lot of things. Okay. And if From you are so... From stupid to crazy to... Mm. If, uh, I don't yeah. know. <laughs> so, if, so if you're so in love and you feel like the only way you want to express your love to your partner is by sharing your picture it's allowed no no because no, no, these no. are the things he's not saying sharing your picture generally is childish he said yeah, sharing your picture to know I if know, they have to get validation of yes. whether you're faithful or not i get it i'm saying it's allowed like you if, if that's what you want to do i think he's speaking off of the is your man your man that was trending on on, on on social media where people were posting pictures of the people that they are with currently whether they're in the talking stage and or guess what a lot of people with. would jump and then there were other people who were saying oh i'm also talking to this person so i did think that's the, where it's coming from did you see the so housewife wrong, side right? chick Housewife side chick posting uh, the pic for instance if I have a sure. boyfriend uh -huh. then I'm posting his picture mm -hmm. on social media to be sure it's mine. I feel like yeah it's actually reeks of insecurity. How exactly? Especially when you have men that have decided to build their life on lies and will be dating ten people on Twitter yeah. and tell you there was a tweet I saw and somebody <laughs> said so um, that she posted a picture of her boyfriend at the time and the guy said, How why will you post my picture like that? That is that is uh, too open and she, she asked the guy, You thief, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> because I don't understand fine, I understand when people decide to say they don't want to put their business in public. I yeah. mean it's <laughs> it's it's understandable because I think to a large extent I don't want my business in the public domain as well. However, when it becomes a 
secret. There's a difference between not wanting PDA and it becoming a secret. That people don't even know you are with this person. Yeah. Um, so that is now something else entirely. I, I, maybe people are acting this way because of the circumstances yeah. that we have found ourselves now. That you cannot be sure that it's this your person boo, your boo. is your boo. <laughs> you know, so you cannot just call that childishness or insecurity. And if you want to say insecurity, well, maybe all of us are insecure. No, no, no. Posting your pictures because of public display of affection is pretty normal. Normal, you can do that. What's the difference? Post because last last when you do your specific when you purpose, it doesn't have to be a specific purpose. On you Once you not. put it out or not, if there's another babe, is she a girl? Not just their boyfriends, they are beginning to post their fathers. Uh -huh. Just you, oh, you didn't see know. that. Okay. You didn't I see think that. We need to go. Are we, talk, are we talking about the same situation? <laughs> yeah, because I wanted to tell you guys a story. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A certain girl posted her dad on Father's Day, and the, another girl said, "Ah, you said if you know this man, uh -huh. this man we no like to the use." protection wow. Oh, wow do you understand like so it's getting so, really deep so why would okay. i now post a man ah. that is my boyfriend mm. or that is my or my girlfriend mm. just to know if we're sharing we, oh wow okay. come on it's not it's not even cheating it's a sharing yes. <laughs> oh, goodness. It's a sharing time now. continues right after this break <laughs>